Hi guys, this is Anapai and you are watching Ask NG with AJ. So yes, this is the first video after GMA 2019. Yes, we have released one. So how was your exam? Comment below whether it was easy, medium or difficult so that we can analyze it together. So I had got one comment. It was this. So the thing is that I haven't passed JE yet. I have wrote my first JE on this January 12th. So hopefully I will crack the exam I believe. So for me it was like Max was very easy. I didn't think so that would happen. Then physics was difficult. Chemistry was easy as always. And also I had made a video on how to score more marks on chemistry. Especially in organic chemistry. Please watch it. The link will be right here. So, the reason why I'm making this video. So today's video is on JE marking scheme and what is percentile? Really? What does that mean even? So, the main motive behind making this video is I have received a lot of questions from my co-students regarding how JE is gonna evaluate this exam which is gonna be conducting on January and on April and also on a lot of days with different lot of question papers with the difficulty level varying from easy to difficult yes really it matters a lot because students are really confused regarding a lot of things then how will the uh, difficulty of a uh, paper will matter it on their result or was it difficult only for me or was an easy exam will make a student qualify the exam easily so I have made list of three typical questions so let's see the question first then these questions will lead to the answer yes I will explain so question number one bro I wrote exam on January 9th I think I would get up about 200 marks but my friend wrote J on 12th January he also will get 200 marks so who's gonna top me or he on what basis Question number two, bro, how will JE equalize all these marks together? Like there are a lot of different question papers and we also know that there will be bonus given to some mistakes questions. Like some questions will be wrong or the given data will be wrong. So bonus will be given to those questions. But it is for different papers. So how can they equalize all these together? And the third question is the most interesting. Who will be the topper and on what criteria? So let's analyze. So stop right there. I know you are getting confused a lot and a lot and a lot. Because this thing is gonna take a lot of time to understand. So warm up your brains. So the thing is that this is gonna be a fact. <clears throat> your marks are not gonna decide what your rank is. I know you will be thinking, what this guy will be talking about? What? I wrote four marks, not marks, no rank. What? What? What's happening? Wait there. Your rank will be decided by percentile. Yes, that word third time. Let's analyze what is percentile. So I'm going to explain percentile with the story of a student. Like, for example, let's take that a student wrote exam on 9th January. The exam was a bit difficult so as the difficulty level increases overall score of all students decreases like as the exam is on out of 360 let's think the topper got some 340 yes they get that even if it is tough so he got 340 what percentile simply means is that percentage of people below you along with you so I will repeat, percentile simply means that percentage of people below you along with you in the rank of that day only. So the thing is that on a single day you wrote the exam on 9th January first shift. So your rank, your rank on that day maybe it's just 10, your rank is 10th and we all know that 8,40,000 students wrote JE exam on this January and all the students were equally divided 
in these eight days. So somewhere around one lakh fifty thousand students wrote history. So as you are on the tenth rank, number of people below you along with you will be somewhat one lakh forty nine thousand nine hundred and eighty eighty I guess. So one lakh forty nine thousand nine hundred and eighty people below you. So number of people below you along with you divided by whole number of people into hundred that will give you percent time. I know you are screwed up. Just think that ten students wrote the exam and you are the second rank. So your percent time will be number of people below you how much nine and total number of students appeared ten. So nine divided by ten into hundred that will give you ninety percent time. So this is how JE is gonna evaluate your marks into something called percentile. So I will explain why this is being done. So the thing is that I think you have understood how the percentile is calculated. I will repeat that it's just number of people below you along with you divided by total number of people appeared on that shift on that day into 100. So the topper will be having 100 percentile every day. Right? Like he is the first one. Every people is below him like uh, along with him and divide by the total people into 100 it's gonna be 100 percentile so the one thing is clear that on every shift there is gonna be topper every day every day yes so the thing is that there will be 16 to 8 toppers in this January exam only we will come to that later so as you have understood what is percentile now let's think a story like one boy wrote exam on 9 January he got somewhat like 280 marks 280 marks the exam was a bit easy he got 280 marks and on 12th january his friend wrote the exam and he got some 200 marks and he, I, even though he got 200 marks the exam was a lot difficult so the thing is that the student going to NIT or IIT should be talented by brain, not with some mark. So the thing is that JE will qualify only those students who have good problem solving skill with a given interval of time. So the thing is that you all know the guy who got 280, the exam was very simple. And the guy who got 200, the exam was very hard. So there may be a chance that the guy who got 200 is more talented. So as we know, he got 200 marks, but overall mark will be very less. So his position on that day will be very great. So his percentile will be more than the guy who got 280. There is a chance like that. So the thing is that as I explained percentile, on the base of percentile only, a person's rank will be decided. Not on the base of marks or on the difficulty of the paper. It's just that day, that shift that day's rank only so i have explained percentage so the so the next question in your minds will be if two marks two percentiles clash like i got 60 percentile and my friend got 60 percentile who will top who is the guy gonna get into an NIT or anything who is gonna top in between us so the thing is that j has solution for everything Yes, so our percentile had been clashed. I got 60 percentile, he got 60 percentile. And now they will think like this. What J will do is that they would go to a max percentile. Yes, I forgot to tell you that there is percentile for each subject. Like there will be a percentile for max, there will be percentile for physics, there will be percentile for chemistry. So the percentile for each subject is also calculated as per the previous method I mentioned like your rank in that particular subject and number of people below you divided by total number of students appear at that shift on that day into 100 same criteria so you will be having individual percentiles in each subject so whenever percentile of two people crashes what J will do is they will compare your max percentile and max percentile will decide the top and even if it clashes on max, they will go to physics. And then physics percentile will decide the topper. And even if it clashes on physics, they will go to chemistry. Yes, no other option. So chemistry. 
they will compare the chemistry percentage and i know you are you will be thinking like bro for a topper physics maths and chemistry there will be clash between all these toppers on eight days as they are the toppers yes you are right then comes the very much nasty rule it comes if the percentile of maths physics and chemistry clashes your date of birth will decide the topper that thing something on which we are not even responsible for the day which we are born yeah it will decide your rank like the person senior will get the top rank why this being done is that so that repeaters can get a good rank in exam so this is how it works i think i explained the first question second question and third question this is it i think you understood the percentile very well if you have any doubt let it be a small one ask it below the comment section we can reply it there if it's a big one we will make another video for you on january 31st the results will be declared for the exam conducted last week so we will send you a message personally reminding you about the result declaration so don't get worried about the result the exam is over just chill and remember also i forgot to tell you that the exam being conducted on april and january you will get two percentile on both the exam and best of the percentile will be taken as your percentile finally so don't get worried if your exam was lobbed on january you can score better in the april exam as you have good more days so all the best to all the students and congrats to all those who have written the exam to best of their satisfaction so this is it guys thanks for watching like share and subscribe yes we are out of subscribers subscribe and support our channel and make sure hit the bell icon right below so that you get updated about our channel till then bye